Hey! Yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing The Savage Hawkman, issue number 6. Take a look at this con cover right here. So, I like to just say this, I called it. I definitely called it. See, a lot of people didn't believe me, but I said zombie infestation, and guess what it is? Zombie infestation. Slightly different, but still, I called it zombie infestation. When we last left off on Savage Hawkman, he meets up with none other than the Gentleman Ghost. And the Gentleman Ghost is after this orb, and this orb has this power to uh, grant life and raise the dead and blah blah blah, all the stuff that evil necromancing orbs do. Because you know it's an evil necromancing orb. So, now we conclude into issue number six. Savage Hawkman wants to get this orb before the Gentleman Ghost does, because the Gentleman Ghost wants to be returned back to life and have immortality. Uh, Savage Hawkman, or I should just call him Hawkman, doesn't want that. I mean, why would you? He murders. Anyways, for those of you that don't know, the Gentleman Ghost is a ghost of an old school Western criminal. Uh, Dim, uh, his last name is always a, cr a Cracker or a Crocker. Crocker, I think it is. Dim Crocker. And the thing is, is the interesting thing about the Gentleman Ghost is he was actually killed by one of Hawkman's previous incarnation, uh, which was Nighthawk, I believe. Uh, Nighthawk and Cinnamon. So, he has kind of a thing out for Hawkman, whether he knows it or not in the new DC-52. But, like I said, Hawkman wants to prevent him from getting this orb. And the only way the orb can work right now is if it has contact with Nth Metal. So the question is this, will Hawkman be able to get the orb? Will he accidentally unleash his power? And what happens if the dead rise again? Well, you're just going to have to read and see. So let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Well, I can't say that the story is not bad. It is decently handled. There is some good um, twists and turns here and there. It's intriguing. I can say that. I, I, I was interested in the story throughout the reading of it. Um, and Savage Hawkman is portrayed in character. Why do I keep on calling him Savage Hawkman? Why did you guys have to say Savage Hawkman? Why can't it just be Hawkman? Anyways, Hawkman is portrayed in character for the most part. We get to see more of the Gentleman Goats, and for the most part, he's portrayed in character too. And the art gets a little bit better. I like Hawkman when he's Hawkman. I don't like him when he's just Carter Hall. He looks kind of goofy. But as Hawkman, he looks cool. Bad. Tony Daniel. I like Tony Daniel. Um, I like his art. I think he's a decent writer. But Tony Daniel, gotta understand what Hawkman's about. Hawkman's about ripping and tearing and breaking things. As much as he's an intellectual individual who's lived multiple lives and is really actually very grounded, he likes to rip and tear and break things. That is Hawkman. There was no fighting at all in this. If I had a Hawkman comic and I was writing it, you know what the opening scene would be? Him smashing someone's skull in. Why? Because that's awesome, and that's what Hawkman does. I hate to use this comparison, but he's kind of like Wolverine. He is an action character. He has all these weapons to his disposal, and I haven't seen him use any of them to any extent. He kind of goes, whoa, I have a mace with an axe on it, and a shield with a claws. Whoa, and I think I'll pick my nose. Mm. It's like, ah! Uh, I kind of want Rob Liefeld to go in this comic. It may take a 180 with the dialogue, but at least we'll be seeing someone getting beat up or or, or bashed their head in or something. I, I need violence in this comic. I know that sounds really horrible, because violence is bad in the real world, but in comics, sometimes it's necessary. And that's what I want to see with this comic. The, the action was just lacking. Um, and the ending was a little cliché. Whether or not you should get it. Uh, this was better than last week's issue, uh, last month's issue, which I believe I gave it 2 out of 5 stars. Don't quite remember. I think it was 2 out of 5 stars. This, I would have to say, is a 3 out of 5 stars. Like I said, I like Tony Daniel, but I like him better on Batman. Um, Hawkman, I don't know who I would have write Hawkman. I mean, Jeff Johns has a pretty good idea of him, but I don't know if I would give it to Jeff Johns. I should take Hawkman. 
Oh, my first story arc would be a brutal one. It would be something like he goes to Egypt, and there he has to fight, um, I don't know, mummies or Lobo or Sentinels from X-Men. I don't know. I would have him fight something big, and he just beats the things up. And gets beat up. And beats more things up. It'll be like a WWE matchup. Hawkman versus Dolph Ziggler. In a ladder match. For the Intercontinental Championship. With special guest ladder, Razor Ramon. Oh, so goofy. But yeah, 3 out of 5 stars. Um, I'm actually kind of interested to see how Rob Liefeld is going to take this issue. Uh, the series in issue number 8, I think it is. 8, I think he's picking up. We'll see. Um... So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.